Yeah, this is Katie. In today's video, first of all, this is my bed frame. If you're just wondering what this like big pile of wood is, this is my bed frame. This is like the slats, so that's why they're connected with this stuff. Just in case you were wondering, because if I was watching this video, I'd be like, girl, what? So today's video is going to be a story time video. I was going to tell you a story that has happened to me in my life in the past, not today. Some other time. Can you tell I'm in a weird mood today, guys? Or is this just how I act normally? So this story takes place, took place? Well, I'm telling the story now. So the story takes place, words? Um, last year when I lived in Montana. So I lived in Bozeman, Montana last year for about five months. I loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. Talk about it all the time. You guys already know how much I love Montana. And the main reason that I moved there, really the only reason that I moved there was because I'm in love with Yellowstone National Park and I wanted to be really close to Yellowstone. So I moved about an hour and 15 minutes away from Yellowstone and so I was able to go like all the time. And so this story is about one of the times that I went to Yellowstone and it was top three scariest moments of my entire life of my entire life um, it might be top two it might be top two and if you guys want to know let me know in the comments if you want to know the number one scary story of my life because that one like I might start like shaking while I'm telling you because it was like oh my gosh like the worst thing but anyway if you want to know the scariest story let me know in the comments but this story I'm gonna say is the number two scariest story of my life like my like adult life as like a traveler like a travel story my second scariest travel story I don't know if it involves travel as much as it involves wild animals <laughs> so so in Yellowstone they really recommend that you hike with four people like including you so like if you get hurt one person can stay with you and two people can go back um, because there's just a lot of wild Wild animals like bears and bison and elk and big animals that will kill you um, and then also just if you fall off a trail or something like or if you get hurt there you know it's good to have people around you so I generally go on ranger led hikes when I go to national parks there's a bunch of people and a ranger so I feel super safe everything's great but this one time at Yellowstone, I was like, you know what? There's a trail right there. I looked on like the map or something in like my book or something and it said it was like a half mile. It was on like a boardwalk and I could see most of the trail from the parking lot and it was on like a plane. Like it wasn't like a plane like a like a flat piece of land, not on a well, planes don't do this. It was on it was just flat, like in a field, there were no mountains, and I was like, you know what? I feel like that's safe to do alone. Bad idea, Katie. Bad idea. The trail was shaped like this, almost like a six, kind of, but like a six that has a this on the top, not a this six, like a this or this, whatever way. I'd, but the, essentially, this is what it did, okay? So you started up here and you went down and then you went around and then you had to go back through the same, like, straight line. You guys, it's so hot, I'm already sweating. Okay, just to get that out of the way. So I started here and I went down and got to like the part where the loop meets and I saw some other people and I'm like, all right, cool. Like, this is fine, this is fine. So I went around and this whole thing was like a half mile. So it just, it took, you know, not that long. So I went around, went around, la di da di da super pretty, whatever. Got to about here. So say that this is where the, the little like meeting point is of the loop. I got to about here and I, guys, okay. So I got to about here. Mind you, the rest of this, I saw nobody. I saw nobody, nobody. So I got to about here and then I saw right at that little like crevice in between the this and the this part, right there, I saw a bison. And I was like, oh. Actually, my first reaction was, oh cool, a bison. They're my favorite animal in the world. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna take a picture. And about five seconds later, I was like, wait, this is very dangerous. That's a bison and it's only like 10 feet away from me. Well, maybe like 20, but you're supposed to stay 30 yards away from all these animals. So I got way too close, but I didn't see it until I got that close. And then I saw it and I was like, bad idea, not good. What do I do? Cause there was nobody else on the trail. There were just, I just had no idea what to do. So I saw this bison and bison kill more people at Yellowstone than any other animal do. Mostly because people are not, um, well, how do I explain this nicely? People do not respect national parks as much as I think that they should. And so sometimes they'll just go up to bison and like try to get a picture or try to pet it or something. And that bison will kill you. It weighs like a ton. They're huge, huge animals. But also the thing is, is that when you read the books about Yellowstone, when you go to like the um, meeting training things, like if you want to learn stuff, they don't tell you what to do when you see a bison. They tell you what to do when you see a bear, which is like act big and make a lot of noise and like talk and stuff. But they don't tell you what to do when you see a bison. They just don't tell you. So 
I had no idea what to do. So I saw the bison and I was like, this is probably not a good idea. And then so I started backtracking like pretty slowly at first just in case he saw me. And then I just like looped around that, that loop again because like I said, there was only one way out and it was on a boardwalk, but it was like decently high. Like I couldn't have really just jumped off the boardwalk and made a run for it, especially because I didn't know, like, you know, like with some animals, you have to like play dead. Like if you run, they think that you're uh, after them or a predator or food or whatever. Like I didn't know if I should run from the bison. I had no idea what to do. I did not do any of my research, which sucks because they're my favorite animal and I was so close and I was so scared and I had no idea what to do. So I went around the loop again and just kind of hoping that like maybe he would move by the time I got around because it was like a five minute walk. So I got back to where I could see that little point again, like the meeting point, and he was still there. Um, well, this is my life and this is over. And I started crying and I was so scared because there were still no people. I could like kind of see the parking lot, but not really. And I, like I said, I didn't know if I should be loud. I didn't know if I would startle him and he would attack me. I did not know what to do. So I started crying. And my first instinct was let me call somebody. So I was like, who can I call? Who can I call? Mind you, I had one bar of service because I'm in the middle of a national park. So I was like, well, I can't like internet find Yellowstone's number. So I called 911. Now, this 911 call, this was like the second time I ever had to call 911. The first time was when my mom had like an asthma attack. No, my mom took an Advil and she's allergic to Advil. So I had to call 911. My mom was totally fine, but this was like the second time I had to call. So they were like, what's your location? And I'm like, I don't know, I'm in Yellowstone National Park and there's a bison in front of me. So at this point I was like staring at the bison because I was like, I wanna make sure that I know exactly where we are at all times. And if you're coming towards me, I want to know. And if you're walking away, I wanna know. So I'm getting so sweaty. Oh my gosh, Katie. So I was like looking at the bison. And the first thing that this guy said on the phone was do not make eye contact with this bison. And as he was saying that, I was literally making eye contact with the bison. Like he was looking at me, I was looking at him. So I was crying, my eyes were down at this point. I did not know what to do. And so essentially I was just like, I don't know what to do. And he's like, just stay calm. Just don't make eye contact with him. And as he was in the middle of a sentence, the phone call dropped. Yes, this was just a very weird, scary movie. The phone call dropped kept crying, could not call anybody, could not reach anybody, had no idea what to do. So at this point, the bison, since we were making eye contact and he saw me, he started walking towards me. Walking, he was not running, he was not charging. He was walking towards me. And I was like, okay, again, this is the end of my life. This is fine, Yellowstone's my favorite place. If I'm gonna die, might as well be here. So I just thought, I just, it was, mm. So he started walking towards me. So luckily, 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 fight or flight, I was like, hey, Katie, he's walking this way. Go around. So I bolted. <laughs> like, I think I walked for like two seconds and then it just ran. And then luckily, luckily, this story obviously has a happy ending because I'm here right now and like, I'm fine. Um, but so by the time I got around again, he already went down this way far enough um, that I didn't see him and I was able to get out. And I just ran to my car. I ran to my car as fast as I possibly could. And then, and then of course, that's when I saw more people. There are more people walking in. And again, with the people who don't respect national parks, these people that I saw walking in, I was like, guys, by the way, there's a bison in there, so like, watch out. Their response was, oh, cool. Guys, guys, it's a wild animal. This is not a zoo. This is not a zoo. It's not like, oh, there's an otter. Okay, let me go look at it and take pictures through a fence. Like, that's a bison. But anyway, I bolted out of there, got in my car, and I just, I left, and, and that's the whole story. Bison are still my favorite animal. Yellowstone is still my favorite national park, but, so, what is this? What is this? Uh, I was just editing my video and it cut out. Like right now, it just cut out. So the last like, what, minute of my video is not here. This shadow, how do I make it go away? I don't, I guess. I guess it's just part of my life now. How? Oh, okay, all right. So where was I in the story? Um, the bison, I think the story was over. Like I bolted to my car and I left. And then that, and then I mean, I still went back to Yellowstone like a week later, like, so it was fine. But I think that that's just the end of the story. Um, but so that is it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments, like other suggestions that you guys have for videos, because I'm kind of in a creative like rut right now. I just don't really know what I want to record for the foreseeable future. Um, so let me know in the comments, any suggestions that you guys have and subscribe to my channel. If you're not already, I put out videos every Tuesday and Friday, Tuesday, I do travel things Friday. I do not so travel things. And that is it. I love you. Jesus loves you. And I'll talk to you later. Bye. The shadow's like, oh, it's a mask on my face. Look at it.
Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Okay, I need to go back inside.